Okay, so we're going to start off with example number 14 here, Psalm 51 of your textbook. And you'll see that we have a three kilogram block that starts from rest at the top of a 30 degree incline and slides two meters down the incline in 1.5 seconds. We'll be finding several things about this block, but we'll start off with the acceleration. And even before we do the acceleration, I actually drew a diagram in a free body diagram as well. So on the left, you'll see my force diagram. And I've drawn my ramp so that it is sliding down the ramp to the right. Normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. Gravity always points straight down and friction opposes motion. So since it is sliding down the incline, friction is up the incline. I then drew my free body diagram and tilting my axis so that anything that is parallel to this ramp is in the x direction, anything perpendicular to the ramp is in the y direction. And so friction is to the left, normal force is up, and gravity is at an angle. Looking at part A, I want to find the acceleration of the block. And for part A, this is actually just a one-dimensional motion problem. We know that it starts from rest, so the initial is zero. We know it has a displacement of two meters in a time of 1.5 seconds. The equation that's best to use is the equation that does not include final velocity, since we know nothing about it. So the best equation is delta x equals vit plus one half at squared. And these, of course, are all vectors. We know v initial is zero, so I can cross that out. And then I want to solve for a. So the first thing I'll do is multiply both sides by 2. Then I'll divide both sides by t squared. So that acceleration is 2 delta x divided by t squared. I can plug numbers in. Looking back at the problem, delta x is 2 meters. Time is 1.5 seconds. And then we square this 1.5 seconds in the denominator, and we get 2.67, sorry, and we get 1.78 meters per second squared. So that's our answer to part A. Looking up at the problem, part B wants to know the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the incline. To be able to find that, I need to draw uh, write some net force equations. So I'll do that right now in a different color here. In the x direction, We have only one force, and that's the x, oh sorry, we have two forces, the x component of Fg and friction. So Fgx plus F sub k equals mass times acceleration in the x direction. And in the y direction, we also have two forces. In the y direction, we have Fgy and normal force equals mass times acceleration in the y direction. Now, because our block is not sliding at all, um, it's not moving in the y direction, I mean, that means that acceleration in the y direction is zero. It's not lifting up off the ramp. It's not tunneling into the ramp. So y acceleration is zero. The other thing I'm going to do is look at my free body diagram and put in minuses where they are necessary based on direction. So if I scroll up to my free body diagram, I see that the FGX, the X component of FG right here, would be pointed to the right. So that's going to be positive, whereas friction is pointed to the left. So that's going to be negative. 
So I will have FGX minus kinetic friction equals MA. And I also have to look at the direction of that acceleration. Again, we know it's going to accelerate down the ramp. And since it's going to accelerate down the ramp, that means that acceleration would be to the right on this picture, so it is also positive. Looking at the y direction, normal force is upward, FGY is downward. So for the y direction, I can write negative FGY plus FN equals zero. And now, these two equations that I've written here are only magnitudes. So that means when I plug numbers in, I'm only putting in positive numbers in there. I've already taken care of direction with these minus signs right here. Now again, the thing I'm looking for is the coefficient of kinetic friction. I'm also looking for the frictional force acting on the block. That's part C. And so I'm probably going to end up solving for both of them at the same time in some ways. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do part C first. Find the frictional force acting on the block. I'll use this equation right here to do that. So first of all, kinetic friction, the force of kinetic friction, is equal to MA negative MA plus FGX. Now, FGX is the same thing as saying FG. And in this case, it's times the sine of 30 degrees. If you need review as to why it's the sine of 30 degrees, look back through your vector notes. We also know Fg is really just Mg. So there's my equation that will get me the force of kinetic friction. So I can now plug numbers in. The only number that I really need to look up here is mass. And the problem tells me it's a 3 kilogram block. So 3 kilograms times the acceleration I just solved for, which is 1.78 meters per second squared. Or 
or cosine of 30 degrees in this case. Now I can just plug numbers in again. F of K is what I already solved for, 9.38 newtons. Divided by 3 kilograms times, again, a positive 9.8 meters per second squared times the cosine of 30 degrees. This gives me a coefficient of 0 0.368. That number is between 0 and 1. It's a positive decimal point, so it makes sense, and we know that it should not have any units. So I've done parts A, B, and C. The very last thing I have left is part D. What is the speed of the block after it has slid 2 meters? That, again, is just a one-dimensional motion question. So we'll go back to those equations that we learned at the beginning of the school year. And the best one to use for this part is the one that says the final equals the initial plus acceleration times time. We know the initial is zero. So all we have to do is multiply our acceleration by time, or 1.78 meters per second squared by a time of 1.5 seconds. We end up with a final velocity of 2.67 meters per second. Again, another reasonable answer based on the problem. And there you have it. So we solved for acceleration first. Then we used that to solve for frictional force and then found the coefficient of kinetic friction, and finally the final velocity.